Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Leather Squad? I don't know why my camera looks like it's so zoomed in or something. Oh, God, I got to pick. Uh, tilt, 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 tilt. If I'm tilting, what am I playing? I'm going to tilt. I kind of want to play Kleena. Can I be of assistance to you? Hello, Kleena Tilt. Oh, Kleena Charybdis. You know, I've been playing Charybdis a few times recently, and I kind of like it. Do I have a Charybdis tilt video, actually? Because if not, maybe I just upload this video on Wednesday and do Charybdis Tilt. Because I, I feel like that would kind of go hard. Chari Char Charybdis. Charybdis. The last Charybdis video I have is May 30th, 2023. There's certainly no way. There's certainly no way that's true, correct? Well, all right. I guess I'm doing a crib this tilt then. And this is gonna hey, hey. What's up? What's up, Wednesday? Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. I totally picked Lena, not because not because I wanted to play Aphrodite on Valentine's Day, but because I, you know. <laughs> Shit, man. This is not this is not what I wanted. What do I do? Do I just say fuck it and start try hard Thursday? <laughs> Just do every every single video idea at once. Oh man, professionalism is not my my. I'm not good at it. Oh no, that's okay. I will upload this some, one on Wednesday though, and I want to go full power because I've I've seen a full power Charybdis, or uh, I'm sorry, a uh, full power um, Kleena, and it goes absolutely ridiculously overpoweredly hard. I also wouldn't mind going full tank, but I did start transcendence, so full damage it is. Oh, you know what I could do? 50% cooldown. Okay, I tried to cancel that. I didn't cancel. I could do 50% cooldown. Ow. But if I do that... Because... Okay, because... Transcendence doesn't have cooldown on it anymore. I actually thought he got that for a second. I was going to be livid. All right, let's walk in here and dash out because you get more life steal when you do that. You get ability life steal. You cannot fight me. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. Boom. Horrific. Halt. Owned. Owned, dude. The second you popped out of there, horrific alt combination. Can't do nothing against that, man. Ow. All right, now we got the transcendence. So what I'm thinking is if, okay, transcendence doesn't give you cooldown anymore. It gives you base penetration when it's fully stacked. So if I'm going 50% cooldown, full power build, how long is my, is my blind? Four seconds. Fifty percent cooldown. We'll leave that at uh, I don't know, an amount of time. Oh my god! Can my three crit? I think you're deceased, by the way. Holy shit! I do damage. Holy actual crap! I do so much damage. And I literally only have transcendence. What a broken god. I do like Charybdis quite a bit, though. I had a god request. Uh, I, th I think like... Like three or four god requests. Where I played Charybdis. And it always actually worked out well for me. Bro, that ult is so bad. I think I can kill with my three, by the way. Oh, my. I couldn't kill. I couldn't kill with my three. I couldn't do it. A sad, sad little man. Um. 
Okay, so I go Jotuns. Because, obviously. And I get red buff here. If I go Jotuns, is Hydra's worth it? Probably. I think Hydra's is probably worth it even if I don't go Jotuns. I missed. Oh, that hit him. Oh, let's get some life steal from this. He's going to get the meteor very quickly. But I can do that blue. Nice. Nice. Little, little horrific plus horn shard action goes a long way, man. Goes a long way. I stopped that a second too early. I could have cleared the hallway with it. Not that it matters too much because I can still go get my full Jotuns. And not only full Jotuns, I can get the full lifesteal Jotuns, which is really good. Soul Eater is still extremely good on Kleena, by the way. Um, But I don't know, like... I kind of, I feel like a soul eater is a bad item now because it, it mainly focuses on ability lifesteal. And I feel like it mainly, again, like doubles down that focus on, um, on like wave healing and obviously wave healing sucks now. So ain't no way I'm doing that. I don't think I could be worse. I just tried to group up the wave, took 400 damage, and then didn't group up the wave. <laughs> Immaculate. All right, I guess you're going to get the meteor again and let me get these. All right, fair trade. I mean, not a fair trade. I definitely win out of that trade, but if he kills me, because of that meteor. He's not killing me. I actually do so much freaking damage. It's absurd. I might be able to kill here, actually. Ah, uh, no. Nah. nah. No sense in running it there. Uh. Oh, you want a piece? Oh, he altered. Oh, right. I can't be stealth because his freaking scepter, his Sekhmet scepter, is owning me. Also, I saw the comment. I saw the comment. If he calls a mannequin scepter one more time, fuck you, man. It looks like mannequins. Don't roast me for it. What the heck, bro? Oh, But I guess I can do blue buff. How much is Hydra's? 23. Alright, we do blue buff. Get a full Hydra's on this back. Although I can't back right now. Because then I'd be completely sacrificing his blue buff. Which I'm not willing to do. Oh my god. Look at that healing. Holy shit, dude. That healing from my ult on the wave... Okay, maybe Soul Leader is still worth it, though. Like, but maybe, though? I'm just being annoying as hell right now. Nice. Nice, bro. This god is so ridiculous. Especially full power. Like I'm doing. Like. It's so ridiculous. Mainly because I think. Like such low cooldowns. With the dashes. Oh, uh, they're not really that low cooldown. It's, it's more so the fact that. 
Um, within those eight seconds that the cooldowns happen, you can like be invisible for half of that time and then they could be silenced for another 1.5 seconds so like if you play it well for the entire duration of your cooldowns pretty much like regardless of, other than like one second they can either not cast spells or not see you you know like i killed myself chill chill Life seal. Okay. Dude, that invisibility. Don't pick it up. Oh, I fucked myself. They can see Sekmats even when I'm invisible. Big misplay. Silence. Okay. That's a stealth, by the way, not a silence. I don't know why I said silence. Look at that healing. Holy guacamole, dude. Oh my god. Actual insano mode healing. I'm not backing. I'm not backing. I don't need full health. Who needs that, man? Alright, big healing. More big healing here. Nice. And his blue buff comes up in a second, but I'm going to alt this wave. Okay, he broke my alt. That was kind of toxic. It's not going to lie. Oh my goodness. Nice. Nice. Actually, really close fights, by the way. <laughs> like, like, I'm owning, don't get me wrong. But I'm very close to being owned. Like, I'm, I'm very close to just getting demolished here. And there we go. Don't pick it up. Um... Damage wise, let's see. Erendite would go unbelievably hard. Obviously, Serrated gives a lot of power, but Erendite would go really good here because I still need 10% cooldown. Also, I have 20% pen and 30% cooldown. This now gives me 40% cooldown. So I have 20% pen, 40% cooldown. I could just go Titan's Bane and then I'd have 40% pen, 40% cooldown, or I could go Serrated. How much power is Titan's Bane? 35? Yeah, that's not very good. How much is Serrated? Serrated is 25 base. I know that. Then 7 per stack of ability, which is like you can get 3. So that's 46 power. I mean, that's just obviously better. <laughs> like. Oh, okay. I'm hanging in this wall, dude. Obliterated. Oh, not obliterated? Oh, he thought I was diving. He's running, though. He's running. All right, tower is mine. Life steal, also mine. Nice. A little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Goes a long way. I hate that the rocks are in there. You see that little blue glow? That's one of the rocks from Sekhmet's in there. I, I can go get Erendite, which I will go get. And then I cannot get Tier 1 Serrated yet, so I'll just wait. I kind of want to go Second Relic Blink. I also feel like it's a little troll. But I don't know. Where are you going? Oh, 
Oh my hydras, dude. Oh my god. Oh my actual goodness gracious god jeepers. Wow, I do a lot of damage. Holy crap, man. His defense, by the way. Jeez, man. He wants to crit me. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I can break power cap with, with Kleena. Power cap is 400 still, right? Yeah, physical... Physical power slash physical item, maximum of 400. You can break that with percentage-based increases like 3k pot and, and um, red buff. In stacking items as well, I'm pretty sure break it. So, all I need to do... All I need to do is get my last item... A 500 pot and a 3k pot. Holy shit, Batman. Oh my god, wait. Owned him. I actually owned him so hard. I thought he would turn into his, like, like press his three, but he never did. Also, I should probably go be getting the Phoenix. <laughs> All right. Phoenix down. I can't end off that. That's okay. I never expected to. Is the treasure chest here, by the way? It is. Thank you. And I kind of just want to alt this wave too. I don't really need to alt it, do I? Oh god, he's got crit chance, man. Oh jeez, he's got crit chance. All right, 238 power. I pick up Red. I'm at 291, and then I pick up. Honestly, Blood Forge is 50 power. That's more power than Serrated, but not Pen. I don't really care about Pen though. Let's grab Serrated. Upgrade this. Um. I don't actually really. I'll just go with normal blink here. 399 physical power. That is actually cringe. I'm so close to breaking the power cap. <laughs> that actually pisses me off. What's holding me back in my build? 50 power, 50 power, 45 power, 30 power, 35 power, and then evolve transcendence, which gives me like probably a lot of power. Um. How much is that? 2% of my maximum mana. 1% of my mana is 26. Right? Wait. Yeah, about 1% of my ma mana is 26. 2% means this is giving me... If I sell this item and I buy it back... Do I get my stacks back? I do. So this item by itself is giving me 93 power. Holy fuck. That's a lot of power, dude. Well, I mean, it's also increased percentage based by red buff, but like by itself, it's giving me about 80 power. My goodness. But Transcendence owns. That's like the strongest item in the game by far. Uh, unfortunately, you have to stack it, but like still. That's pretty good. All right, I'm farming for a 3k pop, by the way, because I really want to break power cap. Don't pick up red buff. Or don't pick up blue buff. Because you're saving yourself for red buff. I'll pick up this. Gives me a little bit of gold too. I think 50 gold probably. 
10 notches, 5 gold each. One wave. And then I get the 3k pot. Nice. And now I can pick a red buff. And then I can completely shit on. Completely shit on, dude. I'm ready. Breaking power cap. Hi, right, red buff. 399. Seen that. An additional 25% power. Boom. 482. Consider your cap broken, Poppy. By like almost 10 per, or almost 25% higher. I'm going to do so much damage. <laughs> I'm actually going to fucking crap on him, dude. Watch, 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 watch. Watch how much this does. Watch, watch, watch. Boom. That did 500. <laughs> that did 500 damage. How much does my ult do? Only my ult. He has 8,000 health. It did 2,000 damage. 910 damage with an auto attack. No crits, by the way. No crits. A simple auto. Let's see if this hurts him. Oh. Oh my god. Yo. My one did 706 damage. And then my two did like 500. And then my three did 600. My heart secret did 334. Holy shit, dude. Actually insane mode. All right, GG. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all. Peace.